Hello guys, it's Array J and this is how to change the idle 3 timer on your Western Digital hard drive. So I bought my Western Digital green drive, like most of you, purely on the basis that it was cheap, included a lot of storage and is by a well known manufacturer. The thing is, there is one problem about this drive and that is Western Digital's IntelliPark feature that is included on the disc out of the box. You're probably wondering what this feature is. Well, it's a feature that's included to essentially help save energy by consuming less power. So when the computer is not writing data to the disc or reading files from the disc, the firmware will park the head in eight seconds. In a result, the load cycle count on the hard drive raises dramatically. I personally think, among many others, that this is ridiculous and in theory, over time, can be very detrimental to the hard drive and cause more damage than good, since the load cycle count will be very high and the lifetime is around 300,000 counts. And as you can imagine, that will rack up quite a bit with an 8 second unload. So in this video I'll be resolving this problem and showing you how to fix it. First of all, we need to create a bootable CD of Ultimate Boot. You can also load the ISO onto a USB stick, however for the purpose of this video, I'll be using a CD. You want to go into the link in the description where you can find the download. Once downloaded, you want to get a blank CD and burn this image to a disk. I personally recommend using ImageBurn, I've used it so many times now in the past and it's been a great ISO burner. Once you've got this program, make sure that you set it to a bootable disk. Once the CD has been created, you want to put it back into the computer and then turn the computer off. Now that the computer is off, we want to unplug every drive apart from the Western Digital that we are working on. I can't stress this enough, but please make sure that every drive is unplugged, including your hard drives and your SSDs. Otherwise, it could just mess up everything on your drives and you could lose data. Honestly, don't do it. We only want to perform this on this Western Digital drive. Now that you've got your one hard drive connected, turn the computer on and then hit the button on the keyboard to access the BIOS. For me, it's delete, but yours may be F12 or another key. Just check whichever key is assigned on the computer once it's booting up. Once in the BIOS, go to the boot section and then change the boot priority. Make sure that your CD drive is first and then the hard drive is secondary. Then go over to the advanced section in your BIOS and make sure that your SATA modes are set to IDE rather than AHCI. Once these settings have been changed, then go ahead and save and exit and reboot. The ultimate boot CD will now show up as long as you haven't pressed any buttons to go back into the BIOS. Once you are on this ultimate boot CD, you want to select and hit enter on HDD hard drive and then hit enter on device info and management. Then once you're there, hit enter on WD Idle 3 Western Digital. Wait for WD Idle 3 to load up, and once it has, you'll be able to enter the commands. To see what the timer is already set to, type in WD Idle 3 space forward slash R, then hit enter. As you can see, mine is set to 8 seconds. To change this, hit the up arrow to retrieve the command. If you wanted to disable the head parking completely, say for example you were using an array for a NAS drive, then you would want to replace R with D, and then hit enter. However, Personally, if you're using the drive for everyday things and it's not in an array, then I don't recommend disabling this feature at all, but instead changing the time to 5 minutes. To change it to 5 minutes, replace R with S300 and then hit enter. As you can see, the timer is enabled and it is set to 300 seconds, which is 5 minutes. Okay, so now that you've successfully changed the timer or disabled it completely, you can go ahead and turn your computer off. Plug back in all your other hard drives or SSDs and then put back on the side panels and turn your computer on. Go into the BIOS and change back what we did previously, so change the SATA modes from IDE back to AHCI and set your boot sequence to however you previously had it. Now take out the ultimate boot CD, save and restart from the BIOS. And now you'll be back to normal without the 8 second IntelliPark feature. For those of you wondering, I'm using the Western Digital Green WD30EZRX and I can confirm that this totally works and it's not affected the drive in a bad way at all because I've been using this for over 3 months now. If you enjoyed or found this video useful then please leave a like, drop a comment or even subscribe as it really does mean a lot. And I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. This has been Array J.